and welcome. My name is Rochelle from the DIY Affiliate. I would like to welcome all of my new subscribers and also say hello to all of my loyal subscribers. This is Tiger Cat. Tiger Cat and I would like to wish all the people who celebrate Easter a great Easter. Have a great time with your family and friends. I have created over 200 videos that are step-by-step -step that show you not only how to create a YouTube channel, but also how to create a WordPress and how to grow your total online presence using other social media platforms. In this video, I am going to be going through the steps of creating content for YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, wherever you are dominant on, where, whatever social media platform you are on and you are creating content for. You can create this content using your cell phone. The cell phone is just like a mini computer. You can do all of the same things that you would be able to do on your computer on your cell phone. So you can create your video, you can edit your video, you can upload your video to YouTube, and you can also process your video. You can do search engine optimization on your video, and you can have your video ranking in the YouTube search engine, all using your cell phone. So stick around. I give you just the facts. Let's jump into the video. Step one. Stage your area. Make sure that everywhere that the camera lens sees is what you want to see in your picture. As an example, I have my bunny over, I guess, over there, and he's in the background, and I have a pillow in the background behind my bunny. I have some books, I have the window, and I have the mirror. Now, when you are staging your video, you want to make sure that the camera does not see something you don't want it to see. Like for instance, if I moved it over here, you would see my other mirror and some other things. So you want to make sure your camera is where you want your camera to be to see everything that you are recording. Here is a little bit of a B-roll for you. This is me staging the area. putting everything where I want it to be, where the camera can see, and also making all the making sure that what the camera sees is what I want the camera to see. Step two, make sure that you test. You do a visual test and you do a sound test to make sure that you are recording your video and you don't have a sound in the background, such as a car going by or people walking by or anything. And here are the this cars in the background. One, two, three. Your one, two, three. recording device is going to pick up the sound and it will interfere with your video. Doing a test for your image and for your audio is very important. Step three is recording your video. So now you've got everything set. You have the camera set where you want it and you have your audio tested to make sure that there's no background noise and now you're ready to record. You are recording your video. Be aware of what images your camera is seeing and also be aware of all noises in the background such as cars going by or people walking by, any type of talking, anything. Step four is to edit your video in InShot Editor. And I will leave the link in a link in the description to a couple of videos that I have already created that are step-by-step -step videos that will show you exactly how to use the InShot Editor. Go to the Google Play Store if you are on Android or to the App Store if you are on the iPhone. You will find the InShot Editor 
just by typing it in. Open it up. Choose video. Choose your video that you have just created and you can further edit by choosing a canvas, adding text, images, or different future, uh, filters. There are many editing features. An intro and an outro to your video. Start a free account at InVideo. I will leave the link in the description of a step-by-step -step video tutorial to create your intro and your outro. Step five, upload to YouTube. This is where you can add your title, your description, and your keywords. And you want to make sure that your title has your keywords in it, your description has your keywords, and also use the same keywords that you have used in your title and your description. When you are finished editing, save your work. Choose 720p, convert your video. With the InShot editor, you can share to any of these social media platforms that you see and what you have installed on your phone. Add your title, your description, using the same keywords from your title. Make sure you use the same keywords that you've used in your video. Don't forget to add hashtags, your tags, using the same keywords, upload to YouTube. Step six is to go to YouTube Studio through your Chrome and use your desktop site. You will find a link in the description, a step-by-step -step video tutorial on how to add your video cards and your end screens using your cell phone. Step seven, your subtitles. It's always a good idea to do subtitles, otherwise you could end up reading something that doesn't make sense. You will find the link in the description to a video that is step-by-step -step showing you how to use your subtitles in the YouTube studio. Step 8. Publish your video. Step 9. Share your video to all of the social media platforms that YouTube shares to. Using the YouTube share arrow, you can share to all of the places that YouTube shares to and every single place that you have installed on your phone, including your business Facebook pages and your multiple WordPress sites. We'll find a couple of links in the description of step-by-step -step video tutorials that were created for the business Facebook app and also the WordPress app to help you to make Facebook pages on WordPress and create organic traffic to help to grow your total online presence. Now, I hope this has been helpful to you. If you have found this video helpful, then give this video a thumbs up. All right, Tiger Cat. Subscribe to my channel if you think that I might be able to help you to be able to grow your online presence. And leave me a comment. Also, I'm looking for people to join the DIY affiliate community. And that is where I have all of the featured channels of people who have subscribed to my channel and left me a comment and also people who I have helped. Whoa, <laughs> Tiger Cat. 
also people who I have helped to grow their online presence. So if you want to be part of the DIY affiliate community and you want me to put your channel up as a featured channel, then leave me a comment and tell me that's what you want me to do. Thank you for watching this video. Thank you for being a subscriber. Stay safe and have a wonderful evening.